Good morning. I'm in a ton of pain. Um, yesterday was horrific. I dropped my bike a couple of times in the dark on that track. I did, ended up doing I think 13 hours. And um, so I'm gonna stay here another night. I've still got 10 days, 12 days actually, until I fly out to Los Angeles. As you know, I'm leaving my bike in Bogota, it's going to be flown to Miami <laughs> and I'm just going to leave it in Miami and, and work it out later but I'm going to go home to Los Angeles um, sorry, I'm going to fly to Los Angeles and then I'll go and see Matt and then I'll fly home on the 28th So, but I've hurt my back badly, my left side just above my bum cheek it's really painful so I'm going to go for a walk today, I'm going to stay here the night Lima is a 16 hour ride away, so I'm going to do that in two legs, eight, two or eight hour days. I'm in pain, but I won't be quitting. We'll be getting back to Colombia. Don't you worry about that. So, yeah, hopefully I can walk it off. Hopefully I can walk that shattered vertebrae off. Maybe it's just the 12 or 13 hours of jolting. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to get some brekkie. Look how old this city is, look how pretty it is. I check the pull out, hey? Wow, that'd be really therapeutic. Oh, look at this for you. Oh, looks awesome. How good is this for service? So I spoke to the staff about seeing a doctor about my back. <coughs> it's really bad. So the doctor's coming here at 10 o'clock to pick me up, to take me to have x-rays, and then gonna have a good look at my back and then prescribe me uh, medication so I can ride home. How good is that? He's coming to my hotel. And I've decided to stay here if I don't get run down. Fuck! Gotta be quicker, guys, hey? Jesus, if you were if you were riding at this speed in Victoria, you'd be arrested. Anyway, how's that for service, hey? That's pretty good. So the doctor's here, he's here to see me. I'm just gonna go down, check him out. Oh. Need some stuff to get me home, you know. Hello. Can I can I video? Yes. Just for my YouTube channel. I'm outside the medical clinic. They're just um, going to do me some x-rays and um, check me out. The doctor's a bit worried. Um, just getting me a mask. Can I have general anaesthetic before you do this? No se espanta. Can I have a general anaesthetic before you do this? No, ahí se queda. Yeah. Okay. Good job, good job. No. Oh, no, not a good job. It's, it's this, your tissue is a little bit hard here, so we have to try another. Oh, my tissue is hard. <laughs> my tissue is hard there. Thank you. 
miedo a los tatuajes. Claro, de arranque. Yo pienso que debe doler más, pero no sé. Es cita. Thank you. Okay. Gracias. ¿Qué es esta droga que va en? Es para la pena. Es el ketoprofeno. ¿Es eso como ketamine? ¿Ketamine? ¿Es eso como ketamine? ¿No? No. ¿Te hace sentir que te estás ¿No? No. No, ok. That's a es una pena. I've had x-rays, medication, um, just paying about $100 US for all of that to be collected, taken to the hospital. Oh, the x-ray is about 60, so 160 US dollars to be picked up, treated, medications, x-rays, all of that. How good, these guys are awesome. It's the man. <laughs> so I've got to rest up. That's not going to happen, but I got my, um, I'm feeling better. They gave me a transfusion of some pain medication and something else, but I got my x-ray here. Now I'm, I'm no doctor, but <laughs> I don't know what all this shit means, but apparently, um, yeah, I don't know what any of that means, but in my vertebrae down my back, it's it's coming close, well, it's touching the nerve, it's over time and probably long haul riding for six years, like hour after hour after hour. Um, but slowly my, there's a few places where my vertebrae is pinching nerves. And I think yesterday being on that bike for so many hours, I think maybe 12 hours, and especially on that brutal terrain, just doing that constantly hour after hour um, has just, it's just just hurt my back so they've given me some i'm not sure but also a muscle relaxant and i've got some medication to take so i should be fine i'm gonna hit the road tomorrow morning and um yeah what what great people what great service so really happy and um yeah i'm glad i'm here safe um yesterday's riding was brutal it was truly brutal so just to give you some idea of what i did yesterday um this is la paz here bolivia and I, um, so I should have probably, where's something I can, I should have probably taken this route this way along here, but because of the border control, I, I went the wrong way and I didn't have any GPS. So you just have to follow the GPS must just give you, it's a dot and you just have to follow it along lines because you've got no Wi-Fi or no cell coverage. So it must have given me the direct route, but it doesn't take into account that you're going through mountains or the fact that you might only be doing 10 kilometers an hour. So, so this is the route I did. So I left, I left El Paz, which is here. I ended up going I ended up going down here down here and I ended up in these mountains coming through here now when you zoom in <laughs> look at this look at this Look, look, look. This is at a height of nearly 5,000 metres, 4,763 metres. Look, this goes on, look, look. It was the longest route possible to, um, to, to Peru. And obviously the town I'm in is called Araquipa. So then I'm going to make my way to Lima, then Ecuador, then Bogota. So that's where I am at the moment. We're heading that way. So, but you know what? What At the time you're doing it, the voice in your head says, what the hell are you doing, Danny? But when you're in your hotel room, you relax, you've got the footage, you think, yes, I did that. So anyway, I'm going to go out. I'm going to look for a new motorbike helmet. I've got my bobhead helmet, which is taking a beating. It's a good helmet, it's tough, 
but I need an open face helmet because I need to be able to talk when I'm out of vlog. So just going for a walk to find an ATM to get some um, Peru money out. It's a gorgeous day. We are just coming to the town centre of Aquipa. Aquipa. Absolutely, it's really gorgeous. I feel very, it feels very European. People are out, the sun's out, safe. People aren't walking around with machine guns like Mexico. I feel totally safe in South America. Sorry, I do. Okay, got water. I've got a water, full tank of juice. Let's go. Let's go wake the neighbours up. I've got a mochaccino, a sandwich, and two chocolate bars. So I've got, I've got food and water, plenty of fuel, so we're prepared. See them up, they horns. Peak hour.
So we're at 4,100 metres. So some of the things that happen at altitude is the swallowing becomes harder. So we're at about 12 or 13,000 feet. Um, cognitively, you're not as sharp. So that means riding, it's not as accurate as what it normally is. And um, you're a little bit dizzy, just a tiny bit dizzy. But I've been sort of at height now for a couple of weeks, 3,000, 4,000 meters. But you get exhausted quickly. Um, so 4,700 metres is the highest I've ever been. Today I should smash that record on the bike. Um, the bike loses power the higher we get and the exhaust note also changes because it's not getting the air. The bike's not getting the air or the oxygen that it needs. Anyway, let's go. Oh. Hello. Alpaca. Alpaca. Very cool. Yeah. Bye bye. Okay, let's keep going. I'll just prove it to you that so that's elevation there 4848 meters let's keep going we've got to get to this town and then we turn off into the mountain ranges I'm not thinking straight
un vehículo. Ah, en inglés. Ah, inglés. ¿Y en el señor passport? Sí, no. Ha habido un accidente de tránsito. Estamos oh. liberando la vía, no hay pasada. Oh, accident. Sí. Oh. Estamos liberando la vía para okay. que pase. Can I pass? No hay. Oh, wait here. Sí. Okay. ¿Cuánto cuesta? It's just been an accident. The cops are just clearing the debris out. I just bought, bought two Volt energy drinks. It cost me six sticks of their money. So it's called Cannondale Co. Cannondale Coca. Cannondale Coca.
Más allá. <risa> no. Solo de lejos, de lejos no. Ok. Oh, sorry. <risa> bye bye. He just called me a dickhead. <laughs> just going to take my helmet off for a bit. It's very slow riding, very safe, no traffic. And um, I can talk to the camera more. Got to buy a ticket to enter this park. 70 solace, yes? Yes. Yeah, I've got it on me. This is obviously going to get pretty good if you've got to pay 70 solace to get in. Let's see how high we can get. 4,800 meters is my record on this Harley Davidson. He just said it goes higher than 6,000 meters. That's like higher than base camp by quite a bit. <laughs> so that's higher than Everest base camp. So this is going to be full on. I can see snow at the top of the mountains here. Okay, I just dropped my bike playing with my GoPro. Luckily I was going slow. Oh. It's great for my back. How's that for a backdrop? 
the got the horses. It's just it's incredible. It's just got the road to myself, conditions are perfect. Just sitting on about 40 k's an hour. for a quick break the bike is taking an absolute beating um, still got plenty of tread though but just it's just this corrugated road I've been on for about two hours now and you just wonder if the back tire slowly coming apart we're about 4,000 meters so I'm a bit huffy and puffy but let's just keep going you just pray you don't break your suspension or tear a tyre on these a sharp rock just finds its way in through a groove it just gives you a puncture otherwise I'm stuffed we're, we're truly remote I mean just trying to find your line but it's just very hard to thank god for the nobbies they've been awesome nearly 3000 k's on them
Get that shot, I just crashed my bike. <laughs> Doesn't look very good, does it? Michael Bloss, let's go. Just give me bitumen, I'll do anything for it. Nearly four hours on this. I'm just surprised. I'm waiting for the suspension to blow a seal and oil to piss out. I can't believe it hasn't happened yet. This is not normal, I'm just torturing the bike. I've got to say one thing though, this bike's made strong. It's just being brutalised again, sorry. I thought I was going to climb the mountain 6,000 metres and clearly I've gone the wrong way but I'm, I'm heading in the right direction, I know that.
Oh, you guys, are, you guys are awesome. Thank you, gracias. You're really kind. <laughs> Oh, it's warm. Oh, you're such a nice lady. Thank you so much. Good night. Thank you. Bye bye. Oh my god. I can't keep doing this stuff. That lady, I, I rocked up to the hotel with no sat nav, nothing. So I just screenshotted some stuff today so I could maybe guess where the hotel was and I fluked it and I found the hotel that I've not eaten and um, I only had 30 sosolis on me and I said to this lady can you help me buy some food because I'm starving and she walked down the shops with me and bought it and she just said don't worry about paying for anything I don't know I don't even know what I look like in the mirror yet but but I'm in my room, I'm safe. I did, I just want to let you know, 17 and a half hours today. And that was a lot of night riding. And I was in that, in those hills for hours. So I did just on a thousand kilometers. My body's killing me. I feel like my sciatic nerves just falling out of my leg. But I've got food, I've got some drink, I'm warm and I'm safe. Oh, shit, look what I look like. This is hardcore. Oh. Oh. I'm so happy to be here. I'm limping. Oh, and what else happened is my USB on my, so to make things worse, my USB stopped charging my phone, so my phone was on empty. But luckily I bought a backup battery pack, so that was full. So I was able to charge it, but. chicken and chips anyway I'm gonna call it a day and a sleep in to Lima now the capital is only about six or seven hours away and um, I'm just glad I'm in I'm safe and um, we've got some great drone footage today um, I, I am absolutely destroyed that that ride destroyed me it just went on and on and on I, I came out of the mountains onto the highway and thought I'd actually be I'm at NASCA I thought it'd be close, but I was 398 kilometers away. Behind trucks the whole way, I didn't feel most of it, it was too dangerous. Um, just trucks, trucks, overtaking trucks, it's just crazy. This is what life's really like on the road, you're eating in your jocks. So hungry, I'm sunburnt. It's just good to eat fresh food, like veggies, tomato. Mm-hmm.